Hello everyone. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the world of family trees and exploring how you can conveniently collect and preserve your family's history through data and photographs. We'll discover how to create a beautifully designed, printable family tree with just a few clicks. One remarkable tool that has emerged for those interested in genealogy is Ton Photos. This innovative application is a game changer for anyone looking to organize their family memories. With Ton Photos, you can seamlessly manage, catalog, and store family photos, as well as scans of old documents and records from archives, making your treasured memories more accessible than ever before. Now, let's get started. The Ton Photos application features a powerful face recognition function that allows you to quickly and effortlessly locate the faces of your family members. Its built-in neural network technology is designed to accurately identify faces, even if they are not looking directly at the camera or if the photo quality is less than perfect. If you're curious to learn more about this feature, we have an informative video available on our channel that I highly recommend you check out. Today, we're going to delve deeper into the fascinating world of genealogy and show you how Ton Photos can help you map out your family story. Let's get started. Let me first quickly remind you how to tag people in a photo. First, you need to open the photo in which you need to tag a person. The program will automatically detect faces. Next, move the cursor over the outline of the face and then right-click. In the menu that appears, you need to hover the cursor over the section. This is. If there are not many tagged people in the photo, it will be enough for you to simply find the right person. But if there are many people or you need to tag a new person, then click on Enter Person Name. And then type in the name of the new person, for example, Jane. So that's how we add a new person. In the Ton Photos application, there is an excellent groups function that can help us in creating a family tree with more comfort. Let's create a group called My Family. If necessary, you can always create a group distant relatives to keep the existing group simple and not overloaded. To add a person to a group, you need to hover over the name, right-click, select, add to, in the menu that appears, and create a new group, My Family. Then, to add people to that group, repeat the process and you will see the group, My Family, in the drop-down list. It is very convenient to have all your loved ones in one group. In addition, if you want to fill in personal information about someone, like their date of birth, place of residence, profession, or indicate family ties, Ton Photos makes it easy. Each person has a additional details section, which includes information about their relations and personal details. To add personal information, choose the person in the people section, then click the button that looks like an arrow, and then you will see the additional details section. Here we have some buttons that aren't visible at first, but they appear on the right side of the names when we hover over the area around them. Just click on the plus button next to relations, and you will see a large list of options where you can add both blood relatives and people you have met throughout your life. Let's add relatives on behalf of Max. For example, his mom, dad, grandfather, grandmother, and sisters. Click on the parents button, a search menu will open. Here we need to find and add Max's parents, Walt and Anne. Next, we will add Max's sisters, Lisa and Mary, but instead of adding them directly, we will add them as children of Walt and Anne. Once we do this, we'll see that Lisa is automatically listed as Max's sister. We'll do the same for the second sister, Mary. Next, we will add Max's grandmother and grandfather. However, the grandmother and grandfather section is missing from the list, but we can add them by going to the parents and just adding their parents. We'll do this using Max as an example. We need to select Max's grandmother, Linda Stone, and add her daughter Anne and her spouse, Colin Brown, to the Relations section. After this, if we check the family tree, we will see that Anne is listed as a child of the couple Linda and Colin. The program allows you to add people to the Relations section, even if they are not in your Marked People list, and even if there are no photos of them. Let's add Max's great-grandmother on the mother's side. Let's go to Additional Details of Linda Stone and add her mother Gertrude. As a result, the great-grandmother will appear in Relations, but without a photo in her profile. In addition to all the existing options, we can also add Person Details. By clicking the plus sign to the right of the text, 
We will see a huge list of additional information in the menu that appears, ranging from date of birth to profession. For example, we can note the dates of death of Colin Brown and Linda Stone. We can note either a specific date, if we know it, or just the year. To do this, we need to select the date of death from the list of options and fill in the date or choose year of death option and enter only the year. Additionally, we can leave a comment on the selected person to highlight important information. And now we have reached a truly unique function that sets the Ton Photos program apart from other cataloging applications and genealogical tree applications. And this is the family tree function. As you already guessed, one of the ways to get into the family tree using Ton Photos is to click the Show Family Tree button in the additional details of a person. And if we click on Show Family Tree for Anne, we will be able to see all the family members who were added earlier. Please pay attention to the family tree settings. First, you can change the tree title here. Simply double click with the left mouse button in the upper right corner and the input will appear. Next, we need to enter the name of our tree there and it will be displayed on the screen right away. Keep in mind that if you rebuild the tree from another person, the tree title will not change automatically, you will need to update it yourself. When you change the settings, you can adjust both the style and how family members are displayed. Let's look at the various styles and options for displaying the tree. The bow tie layout works well for a family tree of a married couple, showing relatives on both sides and their children at the bottom. This creates a beautiful and compact family tree that clearly shows the connections between two families. This template is great for working with portraits of all relatives, as it allows you to place large photographs of each mentioned ancestor. However, there is one drawback. The bow tie template is not quite suitable if you need to display a large number of generations or provide detailed information about each of them. It limits you to two generations of ancestors, which makes it less cluttered and easier to understand without zooming in. If you have gaps in information about the closest generations of ancestors, they will be clearly visible in the bow tie layout. You can't hide them by simply rearranging relatives, as is automatically done in the hourglass layout. The hourglass combines an upward and downward tree. In the center is a couple, from which the lines of ancestors go up and the lines of hairs go down. Depending on the goals, the family tree template hourglass can display the pedigree of both one person and a married couple. To display just one person's pedigree, you need to remove the spouse's relationship, create a family tree, and then add the relationship back. Next to the central couple, their brothers and sisters will be added, but their descendants will not be displayed. This style is great when you need to create the most detailed and informative tree without overloading it. The extended layout is very similar to our glass. This scheme was added because many users wanted to display not only blood relatives, but also their spouses and descendants when displaying brothers and sisters, but still without additional ancestors. This is the key difference from our glass. After choosing a template, you can choose any style that suits your needs. Currently, three styles are available, antique, matrimonial, and royal. The antique style does not use any background, uses a minimum amount of ink, and will look great even when printed on a black and white printer. It has a stylish appearance and is perfect if you plan to edit the Ton Photos tree later in a graphic editor. The matrimonial style is excellent for creating trees as a gift for a wedding, anniversary, or the birth of a child. The royal style is designed like professional genealogists do. It features a tree in the background with faces in beautiful frames and connections depicted as knotted ropes. Such a tree can be printed in A2 format and hung in the living room without spending money on the artist's services. To quickly go to personal information about someone, simply double-click the left mouse button on the person's photo. This is convenient if you suddenly notice that some connections are missing, so you can quickly go to the person and add them. In addition, if you do not like the photo on someone's avatar, you can change it at any time. To do this, select any photo where the person is tagged and right-click on it. In the menu that appears, click on Use as Avatar. And after that, the selected photo will be displayed everywhere. If you need to view the family tree from another person's perspective, you do not need to exit the tree. Just hover the cursor over the person's photo, 
Press the right mouse button and select Show Family Tree. The program will automatically rebuild the tree from the selected person. Finally, Ton Photos offers a special feature to export the created family tree whenever you want. There are several ways to do this. Open the family tree and select the photo option in the top menu. Then click on the export button. For those who like hockeys, you can use Control shift e In the menu that appears, you can select the format, quality, and image size, as well as where you want to save the photo. After that, just click on the export button. The original size and width will be 5,000 pixels. This allows you to print the created trees even in A2 format. It's 42 by 59.4 centimeters, which will be more than 200 dpi. But if you do not plan to print in this size, you can choose a smaller resolution so that the file size is not so large. As you can see, the high quality of the exported files allows you to explore the family tree in great detail. Even at maximum zoom, the image does not lose quality and small text remains perfectly readable. The second method is great for people who want to customize the family tree. You should use Hockey's Control c and Control v Open the family tree, press Control c then go to your favorite graphics editor and press Control v to paste the image. After that, you can refine the base as you like. For example, add family archive photos along the edges, as shown in our example, to complete your project. Ton Photos is not limited to family ties. By going to additional details about a person and clicking the plus next to the relations section, you can select and add other groups, like your colleagues or your child's school friends. This function helps you easily find the specific people in the photo catalog. And don't worry, neither your childhood friend John nor manager Michael Scott will accidentally end up in your family tree. And this is it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.